Hello there, thanks for joining me. And although this video is about replays, it's not in the conventional sense, I'm not actually going to show you a replay, but I'm going to show you how to uh, install older versions of World of Tanks so you can view maybe those older replays you've got kicking about that frankly are useless. Um, generally every time you update your World of Tanks client to the latest version, it renders maybe some bits of your older replays um, obsolete, so they don't play through properly, or they play through and your tanks are six feet in the air, or six feet under the ground, or certain things don't work properly, or they just crash halfway through, or never load in the first place. Certainly this is what I've been finding. But I've been making a lot of replay videos recently from um, from uh, subscribers and basically guests who's been sending me their older replays, and I've had to learn um, how to uh, install older World of Tanks versions. Uh, on my system. It's actually been not that difficult, largely through the hard work of others. Can't take any credit for it. First thing you need to do is come to this website here, what.djgaffer.com. This person, uh, I take my hat off to them, uh, they've done a fantastic job on this website here of compiling um, all the uh, major World of Tanks clients since 0.7.0 with some information about what each uh, patch introduced, which is incredibly useful, uh, you know, just in, in general, rather than uh, also for this. And also extremely useful, this uh, COMPAT stands for compatibility, which means that 0.8.10, your 0.8.9 replays are fully compatible with 0.8.10, which is great. Um, if you've got a bunch of 089 and 0810 replays to watch, you'd only just download the 0810 client instead rather than have to install both of them. So you find the one you want to download and you go over here. Now, the patch column, I would largely ignore these two columns. That means that you're patching from a previous version to the new version. So for instance, you're patching from say 087 to 0811. That doesn't apply probably if, you're, if you just want to install an older World of Tanks client just to view replays. So you download from here. I've always just downloaded from the, the this zip file which contains all the patches that, that you need uh, and installs that you need. You can download the torrent but personally I haven't bothered with that. So what do you do? You just click on zip and you choose a folder where you want to save it to. Now for the purposes of speed I've actually um, saved it already um, to a, a folder here, my what client folder which I've got divided up into three um, and I've installed uh, and I want to install 0811 so I've downloaded the zip as you would get it from here on the left and inside the zip you'll find um, some bits and pieces really you're after these dot patch files ignore this exe you don't need it you want the patch files if you actually run the exe what happens is uh, this is after you've unzipped everything that will actually connect to the uh, World of Tanks server and start upgrading you to 0.90 which is not what you want so you ignore the XE and you, did, and you extract these. So for the sake of argument, let's say I've extracted them already. What you do is you create a folder alongside your World of Tanks. So this is my 0.90 World of Tanks folder. And you'll see I've created a 0.89, a 0.810 and a 0.811. 0.89 has got the 89 client, 810 the 810 client, and 811 is due for the 811 files. So what we're going to do here, we're just going to extract these files. I'm not going to do it now because it's 5 gig and my system is not SSD yet, shame on me. So you basically drag them from the zip file into 0811 uh, folder or the, the name of it that matches whatever name you've chosen for it. Once you've done that you'll see those patch files are now extracted into the uh, folder that you've just created. So let's say for, the, for all intents and purposes that's these files. Let me just, uh, just move them over. So this is what you'll see effectively. Now ignore the fact that these are not for 810, uh, sorry not for 811, they're actually 810. That's, that's neither here nor there. The next thing you need to do, now they're extracted, is you need to install something on a system called 7-zip. Now 7-zip is, um, if you don't know what it is, it's like WinZip, but it's uh, tends to be it tends to be quite favoured by a lot of people. So you need to go to 7-zip.org and you download either the .exe which runs a setup and modifies your registry and does other bits and pieces, or you download um, the MSI which does the same thing, but the big difference here is really this is 64-bit install. So you download the one that you want. This is trustworthy software. I've been using it for years. There's no real problem with this. Um, it's not spyware or anything like that. Seven it's been around for a very long time. What it does enable you to do is it enables you to open archives that end with .7z rather than .zip. That's important, and we'll come to that. So once you've installed 7zip, what you do is effectively, these .patch files, all they are is effectively 7zip files. Okay. 
So once you've installed 7-Zip, what it'll do is it'll add a context menu to your right click and you can open the archive. So let's open the archive. And you'll see this is the 7-Zip client and these are all the files that are in the .patch um, fi uh, file here. Now, you don't need the launcher.patch file, so get rid of that. That's gone. What you now need to do is you need to extract these three files into the directory you've created. So I'm going to right click. You can, you can do it one or two ways. You can either open the archive and you click and drag, which again I'm not going to do because it takes ages, or you right click, hover over 7-zip and then do extract here. And that will just do exactly the same as the other method. So you do that for these three files and what you will have a directory that looks like is like this which will have subfolders, files and all and your dot patch files will be just down here at the bottom. More importantly you'll have a world of tanks.exe um, executable ready to go but don't click that yet. Um, make sure you've extracted everything from here into the folder you want it to, to be in and when you're ready just double click on world of tanks.exe and make sure that it launches and takes you to the login screen. What might happen and what happened to me is this launched but I got either an error message saying texture files are missing or something like that which means you haven't extracted all of the files from the patch uh, folders. Make sure you do that. Um, the other thing is it launches and then you get a black screen and it crashes out. Again that's the same thing. Make sure you've extracted all of the files from these archives. Okay. Once you've done that you're good to go. Now the final step is to uh, test with a replay. All you do is you get your uh, your older replay and you drag and drop it onto the world of tanks.exe um, file here. I'd, you might be able to do it another way but this is the way that always works for me. So you get your um, dot replay file, you drag and you drop onto world of tanks.exe and what happens then is it will load uh, with your replay um, ready to go. And that's pretty much it. I hope you found the video useful and it will shine a light on those replays you've had kicking about for some time. If you did enjoy it then please uh, leave a like on the video or leave a comment, both would be appreciated. And I'll catch you next time. Take care out there.